not necessarily good news for one Odell Beckham Jr. We all saw the vicious hit he took against the Browns in their last preseason game. Well, the reports now say he might miss week one of the regular season and potentially week two. Now, again, he sprained his ankle Monday against the Browns. The x-rays came back negative, but ESPN reported that the injury could keep him out for that season opener. One source in the report is quoted as saying, not out of the question he could miss a week or two of the regular season. So let's throw it over to our fantasy expert, Nick Whalen, on how the wide receiver makeup around the league looks now coming into week one of the regular season. Yeah, I was surprised to see that Beckham news came out uh, late last night. And you have to keep in mind that this is coming from an unnamed source. The Giants haven't confirmed anything. Um, you know, Beckham certainly doesn't appear to be too concerned. But at the same time, uh, these are the type of things that you have to factor in when you start looking at your projections for week one. To me, in, unless Odell Beckham is going to be severely hampered or unless he's obviously ruled out, he has to be a part of that group. But you look at some of the matchups in week one. I think Julio Jones going against that Chicago Bears secondary uh, one of the worst in the league last season and probably going to be one of the worst in the league this season. He has to be my number one guy. Antonio Brown going up against the Browns in Cleveland. He only played against Cleveland once last year, but in his last three games against the Browns, if you want to go back to 2015, he has 41 targets in those games. Uh, obviously, Pittsburgh has, has dominated that divisional matchup. I like Mike Evans in Miami in week one. Really like this Bucks offense all around, I think, with Deshaun Jackson on the other side, Evans is poised for a massive year. Uh, and then Terrell Pryor, who gets the Philadelphia Eagles in a division matchup in week one. Eagles were ranked by Pro Football Focus last month as the worst secondary in the NFL. I think it could be a, a big breakout uh, week one for the new addition in Washington. And then Beckham is probably my guy at number five if he's healthy. The Cowboys secondary isn't great. The, we know they're a great offense, but defensively they struggled last year. And Odell Beckham is just that good of a receiver that if he's even 80 or 90 percent healthy, I think he has to be in there. Certainly there's a case for Jordy Nelson, uh, though he does go up against that Seattle Seahawks secondary. So playing alongside Aaron Rodgers uh, might be neutralized a bit by just how good that secondary can be.